So, let's say you have a bit more time on your hands and it's getting to the business end of your revision. You should probably start getting involved in some practice tests to really ensure you've mastered your skills in the subject. So, what are practice tests and why do we describe them as such an effective revision resource? Well, I'm sure you guys already know what they are, but they are generally past papers done in previous years for specific topics that can be found online. My favourite websites are Physics and Maths Tutor and Save My Exams, but there are plenty of other websites available online. Just be sure you search for exams from your specific board, or you'll end up doing questions that aren't even on your syllabus, which is a huge waste of time. Believe me, I had to learn the hard way. Now, past papers, like everything in this world, are good in moderation. Hence, I would recommend doing them closer to the exam date and not doing more than a few a week. Plus, there are loads of other great effective revision techniques such as active recall and flashcards, which I'm sure other videos will describe. So, on that note, I would recommend doing practice tests after you've done the bulk of your other revision and it's best to use them as a way to find gaps in your understanding. But, before you get ahead of yourselves and run away to do a practice test, let me warn you, practice tests are realistically the most effective for mainly science and math subjects, as, think about it, 2 plus 2 will always equal 4, but your English essay about your favourite Diary of Wimpy Kid character will probably be marked differently by every teacher. Also, it's great to keep in mind that you aren't automatically going to score great the first time. It's always helpful to build up your timing rather than dive into the deep end. Just make sure that by the time the exam rolls around, you're able to do practice tests in the set time. You don't want to be in the middle of an exam panicking because you have to do the last 20 questions in 3 minutes. Now, what makes practice tests so effective is the concept of self-evaluation and targeted practice questions. Practice tests are a great way to find specific gaps in your understanding and revision so you can target specific subject areas and question types. For example, what I would recommend you do is spend a while after every single test rather than maybe doing another test, locating your mistakes and writing down on a piece of paper what topic and question style, i.e. multiple choice or six marker, those questions are. Then, you should over time be able to spot patterns. For example, say you notice you get a lot of physics multiple choice questions about light wrong. You can then go search up the topic of light, say in your textbook or ask a teacher and do targeted practice questions, i.e. questions on that topic specifically. And if you want to learn more about specific exam techniques for questions, what I would recommend is the internet is always a good resource just make sure you get your information from a well-known website such as bbc bite size or your teacher say you don't want to be copying down wrong exam technique let's summarize practice tests are effective in moderation and are best used as a way to help locate subject areas you are struggling with so you can bat away at those issues using targeted practice questions